Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ma ba'd So continuing on with some of the narrations of the Salaf al-Saleh some of the pious predecessors those people who carried this religion to us in its pristine form those people who sacrificed who strove who fought for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to preserve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's deen and not to preserve their own uh, their own integrity or their own status or for worldly gain but in fact they strove and sacrificed and wrote and gave durus and lectures and spread Islam for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is why we have the ni'mah that Allah has bestowed upon us because Allah has used these men and women to help preserve his religion subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are the salaf al they are the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be from amongst them subhanahu wa ta'ala and continuing on with some of the, the narrations of Mutraf rahimahullah ta'ala he said in one of the narrations he said وقال, Salah al qalb bi salah al amal, wa salah al amal bi sihat al niya. In this narration, he said, it was narrated that he said, that he said, a heart, a pure heart, or a clean heart, or a uh, healthy heart, is attained through healthy actions, or good actions, sound actions. And healthy actions or good actions good deeds are achieved by proper sound correct niya or intention so this shows us and this is in accordance with the hadith of the prophet the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in fi jazid mudghatin wa idha salaha salaha jazid kullu wa idha fasada fasada jazid kullu ala wa hiya qalb the Prophet said in the, in the hadith narration, he said that verily in the body is a morsel of flesh. That if it is healthy, then the whole body is healthy. And if it is sick, then the whole body is sick. Verily it is the heart. So this narration that we have of Mutraf is uh, verifies the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and it verifies that the Salaf al were on the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and that they guarded the sunnah of the Prophet so his statement where he says that basically what means a sound heart is attained through good actions through sound actions and that actions or sound actions good deeds are attained by a pure niyyah that means we should be pure in our intentions in everything we do. Everything that relates to Islam, any in all forms of worship, we should have the intention to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should fast for the sake of Allah. We should make the Hajj and the Umrah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should pray to and for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because He's commanded us to, to pray. And we should, when we supplicate, we supplicate only to Allah. So our intention, we have to have ikhlas, we have to have sincerity in our hearts. Sincerity, that what we're doing is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is advice for myself and those listening, that even when we're doing da'wah, when we're sharing any kind of knowledge with our brothers and sisters, or with non-Muslims, or whoever, that we should do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do it to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you'll have success as is was mentioned in the narration that if you want good deeds you want your deeds to be accepted of course you have to have correct intention and the prophet sallallahu said in the verily actions are tied to the intention so all actions they are they are tied to your intention so meaning if you have uh, if you have a correct intention even if you're doing a good action and even if that action is in accordance with the sunnah, but your intention is incorrect, your intention, for example, you're praying to please someone else, you're praying uh, to show off, you're praying for whatever the reason, or just to do yoga, basically, you're doing yoga exercises, and you're considering that prayer, it will not be accepted by Allah unless the intention is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And unless you're doing that worship, you're worshiping Allah. Allah doesn't accept any, any, 
worship to other than him. كَمَا قَالَ سُبْحَانَ فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ وَنْ يُشْرِكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ That verily Allah does not accept or does not in the law, la yagfuru and you should give. He doesn't forgive the person who commits shirk with him, who associates partners with him, who does any in any act or any form of polytheism with him, meaning they worship with Allah someone else, or they worship besides Allah someone else. That Allah doesn't forgive that, but He forgives other than that for whomsoever He pleases. Meaning that when we do other sins, maybe a person falls into drinking alcohol, maybe they fall into committing zina, maybe they fall into some form of adultery or fornication or whatever they fall into, uh, whatever sin that they do, they have a chance at forgiveness from Allah. But the person who dies upon shirk, especially the major shirk, it won't be forgiven because the major shirk takes you out of the fold of Islam. So this shows us the importance of our intention. Our intention should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to please Allah the Almighty. And a last narration that Mutrif rahimahullah ta'ala that we're going to narrate that he he was narrated upon him qal inna man ahabba ibad uh, ibadillah ila allah as-sabbar as-shukur alladhi idha ubtuliya sabr wa idha uti shukr so in this statement of Mutrif rahimahullah ta'ala he said verily the most beloved slave of Allah to Allah is the one who is extremely patient. The one who's patient. And the one who's thankful. They're thankful to Allah. For the ni'mah, for the ni'am, for the blessings that Allah has provided you with. That person who's thankful, and they can be thankful in many ways. They're thankful with your, your tongue by making dhikr of Allah, remembering Allah, and remembering Allah in a manner which is in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much, often, by remembering Him on your tongue and in your heart and having love for your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and loving to thank Him, loving and having gratefulness and being thankful on your limbs by doing actions. And that's really what distinguishes uh, uh, shukr or thankfulness or gratefulness from sabr, meaning patience. So patience has many forms as well. And these act these great attributes. Allah loves them in His slaves. In Allah Ma'asabarin. Verily Allah is with those who are patient. Whenever Allah says something in the Quran that He He says He loves a certain uh, type of people like the believers or the mutatahirin those people who are the, the purified ones, those who purify themselves. The sabirin, those people who are patient. Uh, all throughout the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions people whom He loves. If Allah loves them, then that means they're doing the correct ibadah. That means that what they're doing is a type of ibadah. That means purification is ibadah. That means patience is ibadah. That means being a person of prayer and 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 and, and so forth. That these are acts of ibadah of worship that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. Allah loves them. You know? So we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to love us. Going back to the narration, so he said. He said, then he, he began to mention those people who are the ones who are patient and the ones who are thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Aladhi idha ubtuliya sabr. He said, those are the ones that if they are tested, they're patient. And if they are given, they're thankful. That's who we want to be. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of the shakirin. May Allah Taala ta ta forgive us for our sins and bless us with al nafir rizq and tayyib wa amal al and bless us to to use it for His sake. And may Allah forgive us for all our sins and protect us from any and all forms of shirk. A'udhu billah min al shirk. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika and ushrika bika wa ana alamu sifruk lima lima alamu. May Allah Taala ta ta forgive us. And, and, and accept our good and, and bless us to be of those people whom he loves. And may Allah forgive the Muslims everywhere. May Allah raise up the Muslims everywhere and bless and protect the Muslims everywhere. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect and support and aid and assist our brothers and sisters in Syria who are being slaughtered. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless and support and help our brothers and sisters in Somalia who are being attacked and oppressed. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our brothers and sisters in Ethiopia and Afghanistan and Iraq and wherever they may be wherever the Muslims are suffering, they may Allah help them 
and, and grant them relief and raise them up to practice the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to come back to the Qur'an, come back to the sunnah, come back to the methodology of the Salaf al May Allah bless us with that tawfiq. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.